This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, well, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Cusp. So just, you know, keep an open mind. Not all of the messages are going to be for every single person who watches. I am a psychic medium, so I may be picking up past, present, future energies. I work with the living and the dead. Um, so let's see what special messages are here for you at this time when it comes to love and relationship spirit. What does Cancer need to know most at this time? Love and relationships for the sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp, please, Spirit. Messages for Cancer's highest good. All right. In your overall energy, you've got the talisman. You are destined to succeed. You must be my lucky star. <laughs> I'm hearing lucky star by Madonna. <laughs> You're their lucky charm. You're going to be destined to succeed here. It's, I mean, that's total chariot energy. Um, in the tarot, that's our major arcana card. It's number seven. Um, and cancer is, you know, being destined to succeed, being victorious. On the bottom, just to take a peek, you've got the oracle, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. So either people look to you for guidance and wisdom because you're very, very intuitive. Um, a lot of us are psychic mediums, tarot readers, astrologers, or we're, we're into the, the esoteric, the freaky deaky stuff, whatever. <laughs> And um, so people come to us because we've been through so much stuff and um, we have the secrets to success. Somebody could be, you know, trying to get advice either from you or from elders, friends, family, um, trusted friends and family. Um, somebody could be getting some counseling here, but you're going to be successful. Okay, you've done your homework here. All right, what else for Cancer? Love and relationships, please, Spirit. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Okay, off the bottom. You've got the Page of Wands. All right. And you've got the Devil. You've got the Ace of Cups. You've got the Four of Pentacles. And then on the bottom, you've got the Queen of Cups. She's the Queen of Love. This is you, Cancer right where you're supposed to be. So this definitely has to do with love and somebody is feeling limited, restricted, holding back their true feelings. There's some fear about opening up, but there's some sort of blessing here. Somebody is handing, handing it to you. There is a new beginning of love and abundance here. There could be a proposal or an offer coming maybe later this year. Um, I would say between December 21st and January 19th for some of you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or have strong Capricorn placements. Capricorn is your opposite sign. Um, there could also be a lot of lust, passion, as well as love here. And somebody's just kind of holding back right now. 
Normally the Queen of Cups wears her heart on her sleeve. She's got a lot of love to give. She's extremely intuitive, maternal, loving, nurturing. She's holding her cup. Somebody's holding their cup. She's got her cup close to her chest. Sometimes we see her holding out her cup. She's got it close to her chest here. So I feel like this is you, Cancer. You might be a little bit afraid to overextend yourself and offer love. I mean, but there's good news coming in. There's some some flirty, you know, texting or something going on here. A lot of lust and passion. There's some sort of um, karmic attachment here. Someone feels there's like a soul bond here, a soul connection. I feel like someone is holding back how much they really feel. There's just a lot of just fear. Um, they they give it they give it little by little. I feel like you're feeling like you're being breadcrumbed. Cancer, you feel like you're being breadcrumbed by somebody here. And that's why you've kind of pulled your energy back. You want you want to see this offer come in, the Holy Grail. They have to reciprocate here because you're not going to tolerate anybody breadcrumbing you. You're going to you're going to get what you want. But I feel like there is good news here. But like I said, I feel it's the result of you pulling your energy back a little bit here. Not giving more than what you're receiving. Clarify this talisman for cancer. Because cancer, you love yourself. It's like you'll, you'll give to the right person. It's like you've really learned how to learn the balance between giving and receiving here. The world, yeah, there's some sort of successful completion here. Somebody may be working online. They may have a web-based business, social media, and you're going to be very, very successful with that. I feel like people are watching you. Um, you're wrapping up some sort of cycle. You've been working really, really hard. Um, but there's a successful completion, and it's time to start a new journey here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus as well. Or you may have those placements in your chart. You're going to overcome this restrictive energy by setting some healthy boundaries here. Clarify this devil. Could it be Satan? Yeah. Here's the truth. The devil is in the details, right? Um, somebody's fearing communicating. They're afraid to open up here, but there's going to be victory when they overcome this fear, this anxiety, this, you know, self-doubt. And you've got two aces here. So there's your two beginnings. There's going to be some truth, communication, love being offered, maybe an apology. Somebody's going to finally open up. Speak their truth. Clarify the world with the talisman. I'm gonna go back there. Yeah, there's an end of lack, an end of isolation, an end of uh somebody's coming back around here. They want to come out of the cold. This could be the return of a past life soulmate or someone that you thought was gone forever. Okay. They're seeking, I don't know, it's a coming full circle. Coming back around to you. I feel like your your good your good karma is gonna be returned to you. Yeah, underneath you, underneath the Queen of Cups is the sun and the fool. So the new beginning is right around the corner here. 
again, I think it's going to start around Capricorn season closer to the end of the year. Okay. So you just need to hold firm here. Stand your ground. No one to give, no one to receive. Try to remain positive and lighthearted. Really nice energy here. On the bottom is the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're you're wrapping this up. You're you're done worrying and stressing. Um, this is wasted energy. Worrying is wasted energy. Anxiety is wasted energy. Um, somebody is just trying to, and here's the tenth sword. So that's done. And it's coming around the devil energy here. So I feel like you're going to soon be able to put your worries behind you. And there's brighter days ahead. Okay. Stay positive. Hand it over to spirit. Don't dwell on it. Maybe because you do have good news coming in here. Somebody again could be taking inspired action here. They want to communicate. They want to open up. Okay, they've been holding back for a while. Okay. And love is going to conquer fear. Love is going to conquer fear. All right, let's get some advice from Spirit. Again, I am available for private readings. This is just a short general reading. Okay. You've got enchanted. Somebody is just enchanted with you, Cancer. They just find you to be magical, beautiful, loving, just delicious and yummy. You have them under your spell. They may be spellbound. This could be, you know, being spellbound by you. You know, it's causing someone to feel... Like they're overthinking stuff here, and but like I said, they're enchanted by you because you've just you just radiate love, it's like you are love, and you're very intuitive and magical. All right, let's get some love messages on this, please. Love messages for cancer, love messages for cancer. I don't know what you said to this person, but it's really making them think. You're really making somebody think. And they've got to overcome their, their whatever is limiting them, holding them back, their fear. Because you, you don't want to be dealing with somebody who's insecure. And Yes, he will be back. Trust and know he will return. It's our buddy Hamilton, yes. He's been gone a minute. You haven't seen him in a while, but he will be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Here he comes with flowers in hand. At your service, ma'am. Here he is. You're like, dude, where the hell have you been? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink this whole bottle of wine by myself. I've been saving it for you. Where have you been? Where have you been, Hamilton? <laughs> Busting out the Hamilton Beach blender and making margaritas over here. <laughs> Cancer. Toxic. This connection is unhealthy. You're together out of neater, neater habit. Release it to be free. Well, maybe Hamilton was dealing with toxic people, partying, drinking, you know, putting his attentions elsewhere instead of on you. Left you kind of wondering what the hell is going on. And like I said, you're, you've just pulled your energy back because you, you pick up on that stuff right away. It's like when something's off, you know. Somebody is releasing some toxic stuff from their lives. Cleaning up their act. 
Good for them. Choice. I gotta choose between two devils here. <laughs> got a, a hoe and two bros. Could be a bro and two hoes. I don't know. Pick your pick your side. But um, this is choice between two. Your heart already whispers the answer. Listen, so it could be that this person needs to decide, you know, do I want to keep going out and partying with my friends and, you know, leave cancer here all by herself or himself out in the cold while I'm out having a good time, you know, or do I miss, miss cancer's love and yumminess and cooking and the way they kiss me and the way they hug me and the way that they you know just let me be open and vulnerable like I can tell cancer anything and they don't judge me and but they're honest with me you know somebody's got a choice to make here do they want this toxic shit or do they want something better and I think Hamilton's going to be back because he's choosing cancer he or she on the bottom is cage love. This love is an illusion or a trap. Fly free. There is no love here. Somebody's got a decision to make. Okay. Get out of your comfort zone. Somebody's got to get out of their comfort zone here. Okay. Somebody might be disillusioned by love. Somebody feels like they're lacking love. Somebody isn't being shown um, the respect, the love, the affection, the attention that they deserve here. Underneath that, by the way, is missing you. So they do miss you. And I also see fidelity and reunion sticking out under that. So I think it's coming. I feel like somebody has to get themselves out of their rut. They need to choose better for themselves, better friends, situations. I feel like somebody might be hanging out with some unsavory um, people that are a bad influence on them and it's starting to affect somebody's health um, and cause a lot of grief. Somebody feels guilty, burdened. So, yeah, it's too heavy. But somebody need, need to go through these experiences to figure out what they want and don't want for themselves what a healthy relationship looks like, okay? So Cancer, that's what I have for you at this time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.